start out we're in normal tuning we're at the we're right over the seventh fret and we're going to hit the fourth third and second strings and then uh, during the intro there's five sets of D to A to G and um, the first one comes in and then there's a lead guitar with the other four so this song's in D major so um, the scales we'll be doing are the D major scale, and um, Eric, a lot of this, it's not very difficult, it's just how he phrases it. So, other than trying to emulate the licks and learn them, listen to how he's playing them. You'll really catch a lot from that. Um, so we'll touch on a few of those nuances. So the first lick, what we're going to do is take 17 and bend that up to 19 three times. And then we're going to release it and then um, hit 15. For the next lick, we're just going to use our small finger on the 18th fret, bend that up to 20, take the 17th fret, bend that up to 19, and then we're going to do a hammer on and pull off from 15 to 17 back to 15. So we have this so far. Then we're going to catch 16, then back to 15. So the hammer on and pull off will sound like this. Then we're going to take 17 and bend that up slowly. Okay, that's again part of his technique there, that slow bend up. He's really feeling it as he plays this. So let's go throughout that whole lick again. One, two, three. Okay, quick stop there after a slow bend. And then we're going to do another lick here at 17. We're going to bend it up to 19 and back to 17. That's kind of quick. And then we do a pull off to 15 and hit 15 again. So we have this. Then we come back to 17 on the second string, bend that up, and we're going to catch the first string at 17. Okay, and then uh, we're bending up 17 again on the second string. So. All together, that quick lick here will sound like this. All right, and then the next one is similar to uh, the second lick. We're going to bend 18 up to 20. Then we're going to do a 17 bend up to 19 and kind of a release to uh, 15. So it, it gives it a little bit different sound. Then we're going to do the same thing with uh, the 16th fret of the third string, giving 16 a bend up to 18, then a relax down and release and pull off to 14. And then one more strike of 14. So that last lick all together will sound like this. Okay, so we're into the verse now, and uh, if you listen to how, or even watch Clapton play this live on uh, YouTube, you'll see he's using a lot of different chord shapes, but playing the same chords. So this is a good exercise in not only knowing your open position chords, but how to add some color to your songs with some uh, bar chords, but not playing the full bar chord. We're going to go from an A to a B minor, but I noticed live he's only playing a B minor. Um, power chord. So anyhow, we got A to B minor, okay, and then he goes to this form of a G. So he's doing power chord B minor, and then he's doing this form of a G. So we're on the third fret on the uh, first and second string. We follow that up on the third string and fourth string. And you can hit the A open, okay, if you want, and then we go to a D. Then he's back to a G D. And then A. Talking to. Then we repeat that. So we got A to B minor. 
and then G to D. D. Then G, D. Then A, and we're going to end on a D. Now when he goes into the chorus here, so the chorus is G, D, A, and we're going to do that twice. He'll go into Gimme No Alibis, that's G, D, A, and then No Untrue Stories Trying to Justify. Again, that's G, D, A also. Um, and he repeats that. So when you do this, again, try the different chording. Try going from this G to A, G, D, A, and then go back. Your G, trying to justify. It just it adds some flavor to the song. Uh, try it and see what you think. So again, he repeats that. He says lie in the second half of the course you're back into the intro where he goes G A D and we're only going to do that twice okay and you're back into the uh, verse and the verse is same throughout the other rhythm that he does during the lead break in the song he goes through the verse rhythm so you're doing A B minor G and D and then G D A repeat that A B minor G D and then G D A D and then you're back into the chorus so uh, that's the makeup of the song we'll touch on the lead here um, next during the chorus Eric is uh, Kind of singing and answering himself and if you want to play along I'll show you some of the licks but they're all right in the D major scale you can use this position and it's his phrasing he's gonna do a 17 on the second string bend up to 19 and release hold that for a second and then he's going to hit 17 and bend it to 19 for a quick stop. So it'll sound like this. Okay. Next time he says alibis, he does this lick. So what we're doing is we're going to go to the first string. We're going to take 17 and bend that up to 19. Then we're going to stop and we'll hit 17 again unbent. Then we take 17 on the second string, bend that up to 19, and release back to 17 and 15. And then he's going to do a quick uh, hit of 17 and bend up to 19. Sound like this. So what he's doing there is, is, again, he's playing within that scale and he's just doing a 17 bend up slowly to 19 on the second string. Then he's going to catch that 17 on the first string and then hit 17 on the second string again. And then a release to 15. Then he's going to kind of move position a little bit. He's going to hit 14 and hammer into 16. Then he'll catch 15 on the second string. Then take 15, give that a bend up to 17. Then back to 15. So you have this so far. Then you're going to do 16, a bend and release back, um, bend up to 18, release to 16, and then you'll hit 14. So all together, the second half of that lick. second chorus when he says alibis it's the same lick we did before with a bend up 17 to 19 and then a quick bend from 17 to 19 after we stop then the next lick that he does is kind of cool it's it's he's singing justify and they answer back and forth and it's it's this lick here so what he's doing there is taking 14 hammering on to 16 then hitting 14 that's on the third string. Then we go to the fourth string, do a pull off from 16 to 14. And then we'll take 14 on the fifth string and hit 17. So we have this. 
So the next lick we're familiar with, we're going to use uh, 16 here on the third string. It'll sound like this. So what we'll do here is we're going to bend 17 up to 19 and then release it. And do that again. Then we're going to pull off to 15, hit 16 on the third string. And back to 15 and then end with bending 17 up to 19. I'm going to break this solo down in sections because um, it's very difficult to play without timing, at least for me. Um, so I'm going to show you the sections and then uh, we'll break it down. This section goes like this. So what we're doing there is we're going to take this 17th fret of the second string, again bend it up to 19. Then we do another bend and release from 17, bending it up to 19, releasing the 17, and then we hit 15. Okay, then the next part, he takes 17 on the first string, bends that up. Then he hits 17 there. So now we're on to the next section. So what he's doing is here is we're going to pull off from 17 and 15 on the second fret. Then we're going to do our usual 17 bend up to 19 and release and then hit 15. Then we go 15 to 17 second string. Then we're going to take 16, bend that up to 18, release back to 16 and then hit 14. So all together we have this. We're going to start uh, here at 19 and give that a bend up. So what we're doing there is we're taking 19, we're going to bend that up to 21 and then release. Then we hit 17. Then we're going to take 15 and 17 still on the first string. Then we come to 17 on the second string and bend that up. And then hit 15 and then 16 on the third string. And then he slides away. And he's going to kind of repeat for the next lick that same idea. Okay, so what he's doing, 15 to 17, first string, 17 second string, bend and release, to 15. Then we're going to hit 17 again on the second fret, and then 16 with a bend to 18 and release to 14. So it's almost like one motion. Okay, the next lick we're going to move back to the um, 17th position and we'll do this. So what we're doing here is we're going to go from 19 and then we're going to hit 20 on the second string and bend 20 up twice to 22. Then we take 17 with our first finger on the first string and bend that up to 19. This is kind of awkward if you're not used to bending with your first finger. Then we're going to go right to 20 and bend that up to 22 on the first string. Then we release to 17 and then we hit 20 and 19 on the second string. Do that one more time. Okay, then we're going to take 19. This is the last part of the leg. So what we're going to do there is we take 19 on the third string to 19 on the second. Slight bend and then we're going to take 20 and bend that up to 22 three times. The third time, we're going to bend it up and release it to 19. And then we just do a walk down. 17, 19, 17, 19, 17. To the fifth string with um, 17 to 19. So that's the whole lead. Um, there is a tab online that's very close. And I hope you guys enjoy it.